Alrighty folks, hello and welcome to Atlanta Motor Speedway. My name is John Theodore, streaming live at twitch.tv slash John underscore A underscore Theodore. Recorded version of this broadcast at youtube.com slash John Theodore. I want to thank you all mu very much for tuning in, however you're watching. We're going to be in the number two Corey Bush for Congress, 1987 Ford Thunderbird. Um, this is a, Atlanta's a one and a half mile track. This is a 45 lap race. We have two sets of tires for this one set of tires in the pits um so let's do this thing thank you to the new follower by the way whoever that was and uh mods it looks like we've got a spammer in there those have been happening more frequently um but here we go i love the sound of that that old style v8 it just sounds so good Corey did win Corey is uh, going to be inaugurated in January as the, I believe she is the first African-American, first black woman to represent Missouri in Congress, so that's pretty cool. I think that's right. So she won. It's historic. It's fantastic. Super excited. Green flag. Green flag in the air. That felt like a real good one and two. We might be in for a decent lap here. Something under a 32 would be nice. What'd we hit? 3208? Okay. Well, we'll try to get that faster then on lap two. 3208 is not bad. like to see something in the 31 eights, but this is going to be a 31 nine something it looks like 94 Checkered this time. that's pretty solid that'll put us fifth quick Michael guest with a 637 I ran one in the eights earlier today um, yeah I'm okay with that if I had had more practice I could probably be I don't know, clicking off something in the eights, uh, maybe in the sevens. I don't know if I could ever get down into the sixes. Like guessed, but yeah. That's solid. No, it's one set in the pits. I ran one of these earlier. You only have one set of tires in the pits. Unless they changed it from earlier today. So we're all the way back in sixth, only 45 laps to move up from there. So we'll have our work cut out for us. Especially since Guest is liable to just run away at this thing. Like, you know, be good to get a top five. Win seems unlikely, but you never know. What am, when I'm driving, why do I hug the outer wall? Uh, so the re the reason is is that um, let me see. So <sighs> if if you have a corner like that, you know that it's you know this kind of shape. If you go inside the whole time, that's a tighter radius, and you're having to pinch off the the car. Versus if you go outside to end to outside, it makes it a more gradual curve overall, and you're able to carry more speed and more momentum overall through the corner. That's why you go from the outside to the inside and back out to the outside again. Yes, it's more distance. So, you know, if we, if we were running a Mazda Miata around this track or when you watch my qualifying laps at like Talladega or Daytona where you can hold it completely flat out, then you will just shorten the distance and by running as far down around the inside as possible. But at a big track like 
you know, right, at well, tracks right, where you right. actually have to lift. Remember, guys, we can't win this thing on the first You want to smooth the corner out, out and make it as gradual track. as possible. Good luck, everybody. Early, all right, let's do the pledge real quick here. Watch what you got going on. Just pay attention all the way around you us. Okay, brother. You're on good the luck. outside. I pledge to be a good sport, whether I win or lose, to know that people online are real people and my words have real impact, to set a positive example of my behavior, to speak up against discrimination, hate speech, harassment, and abuse, to show integrity by honoring the rules of my opponents and my teammates, to stop listening to reassess and told that my words or actions are harmful, and to respect others, even if their sincere opinions are different from my own. Exclamation mark GLHF in my Twitch channel chat, link in the description below this video, if you are watching on YouTube. So how'd you find this? Uh, you said you're not uh, big into racing, as son. How did you uh, find this channel? I'm curious. Most most of most of my viewers come here from uh, <laughs> from a racing background. If I hug the inner lane, the turn would be tighter. It's not that it would be more difficult to control. It's that race. it would be slower you would have because you you would have to slow down more because the actual angle of the corner would be tighter like it, it, the best way to do it is you know just draw um you know take a look map. at a track map um you know or like draw a corner on a piece of paper and then you know draw the inside and the outside and if you know like if you arc from outside to inside back to outside versus if you just follow that inside line that outside to inside to outside line is going to be a more gradual curve so it's not it like if if it was harder but faster to just follow the inside line please if you spin everyone out, would follow that inside line and they would deal with the increased degree of it's difficulty massive, because the pokes who would be able to do it would be faster <laughs> Yeah, you spin it. Um, when you spin it out, please yeah. take the break. Trying to find an old streamer friend. So I'm saying, cool, man. Well, welcome. Uh, you know, if you feel compelled, hang out and enjoy the show. This should be a pretty good race. So, if you see somebody spinning, you know, I hope you're. I hope you find it entertaining. That's what I'm here for: is to entertain. Double check your steering wheel. Good luck at your seatbelt. Or double check your seatbelt. Good luck your steering wheel. Okay. Starting sixth. We're ready to go. Pace cars off. Be ready. Pace cars down. Be ready. He's on it. Green, green, green. We're on it. Inside, inside. Still inside. Clear. Good there we job. go. Yeah, we want to get down to that inside line if we can. Inside, inside. Okay, so he's covering off the inside, so if we want to go around him, he's like, you can go, but you're going to have to use the high line to do it. Still there. Clear low. You're doing awesome. Now, what I learned earlier today is that even if you're a little bit quicker, it's really hard to break away. The draft in these cars is pretty powerful here. So you can see that even though Guest was a lot quicker in qualifying, he wasn't quite able to break away, and he's actually getting passed for the lead right now. Now, he's probably going to be taking care of his right front tire a lot better than everyone else, and he might come back as the race wears on. back to fifth. Thank you for that follow. Much appreciated. Welcome to the family. Boss man looking good. Uh, iRacing is on Steam. There's no initial cost. I think it's a it's a subscription based uh, service. So I believe it's about $100 a year for the subscription. And then each additional piece of content uh, costs anywhere from like 10 to 15 bucks. So like each car, each track that isn't included with the base game for free. 
Um, also, you know, like, it, it, this is a pretty hardcore simulator. So, it, I wouldn't recommend getting it if you're just playing, if you just plan on driving with a controller. Uh, there, there are other racing games that are a lot better if you just have a gamepad or a controller or something like that. This one, you really need a full, at minimum, like a Logitech G27 or G29 uh, steering wheel with pedals set up. Outside. Still outside. Still outside. The scoreboard on the top left, that's uh, caps. Yeah, that, that's a that's a mod on top of the game. That's an external thing. Wasn't quite able to complete the pass on the nine car last lap. Right on his bumper now, though. Not gonna, it's, it, I shouldn't have made that peak. That cost me time. That's just a bad place to try to pass. That's a bad way to try to make the pass. You wanna get the run off the corner to be able to duck down to the inside. Trying to make it late as they're making their uh, cut down into the corner is just, that's a good way to spin someone out and cause a wreck and make everyone angry. The GPO for the caution right now. That's been a single split. Yeah, we should be on our third caution by now. See, if you make these cars harder to drive, folks get spaced out and you end up with less wrecks. That's not been my experience over the past week. Have these been caution fests? Uh, I only don't. I did one race earlier today, and there was only one yellow, and it came out around lap 30. Yeah, they've been a shit show. Interesting. Yeah, Chris, you were in that one with me, weren't you? Yeah, it was good races. I think the most cautions I've seen all week is four, and that was only once, and the rest were two. Four one. Outside. Still outside. I uh, guess he has a huge run here. Still there. Still out. He barely didn't see me do that. Still there. I just approached that all wrong. I got distracted with talking. I should have been able to make that pass cleanly when he got in the wall. sizing these guys up. Everyone's running about the same speed. That's part of what makes it difficult to make moves and passes is that we're all similar speed, similar line around the track. And also, these cars are pretty durable, so Nine got the wall pretty good. You can see it's twisted up a little bit, but it's not really affecting his speed. That won't actually affect him too bad overall. It might it's make the car handle a little bit worse, but it. it hasn't affected his straight up speed much at all. Sorry for squeeze you there, Ethan. Got a battle for the lead.
So here's a place where I can try to take a little bit shorter line down the front straight to through those bends because I can hold it flat out. Shortening that line down the straightaway is a bit faster. Or can be a bit faster. Looks like a repass for the lead going on up there. Yeah, I just I've, I've noticed this, or at least I noticed this in the other race. I have yet to see the leader be able to just check out and break away. The draft of these cars seems to be pretty powerful. Um, now, if Guest gets out in front, he's probably saved some tire. He might be able to. Just, he'll probably be able to just run off and leave us. Uh, would be my guess, but we'll see. He's definitely working his way up through pretty quickly. Come on. Still running fifth. Trying to take a higher entry so that I can get a better exit and maybe get a run on the nine coming off the corner. We're gaining. Outside, clear, clear, clear. Again, just didn't quite time that move quite right, although outside. he might have gone in the corner a little bit too hard still on there, entry outside. there. So we, we are alongside of him now. Outside, still there. Kind of compromised my exit a little bit and my entry there. See there when I was lower down on the back straight, I wasn't able to get quite as good of an arc into the corner. And that kind of messed up my line all the way through. He keeps bobbling a little bit on exit. That gave us a another run again. Going higher. And then, you know, right here. Cut down off the corner. In the gas. See how we're faster there. You can see on the tracker when we're faster versus the previous lap. We were faster overall around that lap, but particularly on the exit of turn four because we had a better line through it. We were much faster on exit. That's what I'm trying to do here with that little bit higher entry um, and straighten out the exit. That gives us a better run down the straightaway. And so I'm trying to use that better run that I get to get alongside. Thank you for that sub, Spike. How you doing? Outside, outside, clear high. Outside. Still outside. Still there, clear, clear. Yeah. Yep. See it. Trying to do it going into turn one like that just doesn't isn't working for me. I keep trying the same thing and it keeps not working. Need a different plan of attack. Caution. And there's a yellow. Talk to you about your car real quick. Going out with our TV about twenty car. laps in. Road is closed. So the real question here is, do Why we think this will be it, car? or will there be another one? I'm going to take tires here. Pit road is open. Behind the time. This is a, about as good a time as any to take the take a uh, take tires. Thanks for that follow. Much appreciated. Welcome to the family. Thanks. These cars on the Getting Atlanta Legends forward. Oval? I don't know about that. Start looking for your sign. Five, four, three, two, one stop on the sign. 
Uh, it's going to be cool when they get animated pit crews for these cars. <laughs> yeah, Paxoy, this is an official. Official race. Okay, then. Since when do you get collisions in that lane of pit? Got four extra. Make them last the rest of the race. We got think a we might have gained a spot. Uh I think this is a C class series. Thank you, Get behind the three. <laughs> South Boston's got a lot more banking than them Legends Ovals. Official trucks. Uh, trucks are at Darlington right now, aren't they? Or did it? Is it changing over to Atlanta? One to go. Um, looks like we are in fourth. Checking up in front stretch, turn one. A eighteen just. Okay, they switch between lane in an hour. 10 4. Far right of the pit Maybe. Because then you hit people. I might. As like I said at the start, I'm limited in the amount of time that I spend racing at one time because I'm still dealing with back issues, but I might switch over to trucks. Or if there's another session of these at this track, I might run these one more time. Bubble come to the green. All right, so we're restarting fourth here. Pace car. Pace car's off, be ready. Uh, bro. Pace car's off, be ready. Settle in, let's get a rhythm. Walk ways to go here. Green flag. Don't pass me, Don't pass me. Oh yeah, never mind. Yeah, get a great start there. Thirteen got right to my bumper. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. There will be a caution. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Closed right now. We're gonna do it again. Who's that in the Budweiser car there? I don't know. Ask who put me three wide first. I had 11 car like great check there running in the back going into turn one and then he just came down and doored me. Cautions breed cautions, right? Open. I think we should be behind the tree. Yes, he did. Yep, Dale Carr behind us. That's just the default paint scheme for these guys. Lucky dog, ha. There it goes. It's all right, man. Don't right, worry about it. <laughs> right? Right, we got to get a better jump on this restart than last time. Last time we got uh, almost got snookered there. That could have gone badly.
I don't want to fall out of the top five. You're going to be lining up behind I want to win. Hey, 11, it wasn't you that put me three wide. It was the 10 car. Yeah, I know. I didn't go three wide with anybody. Oh, that's cool, Rachel. That's a good one. Yeah, I think you posted okay. that one in my uh, the in in my Discord, if I remember. All I know, I was inside whoever was in Budweiser car, and then my well, I was sliding because he doored me, and I got loose. Then somebody went inside of us. That's all I know. You might have been three wide because the Budweiser car is going four mile an hour. That's a hundred percent true. The Budweiser car was on the outside because someone else had went under him, and then Bryce decided to put it in the middle of that, and I don't know how he gets that outdoors him when he slid up into me. Otherwise, the car turned down into the 10 car. I was right behind and I lost it. Guess seems to just like racing. Yeah, I was right on the bottom. So he he no races all I kinds of stuff. Up. Right on the bottom, huh? Plus, they're fun yeah, to there's drive. nobody inside of me. I was literally not three wide with anybody. You were glued to the line, right on the bottom, huh? How about you, Earl? He was painting the line, two, buddy. Three, one to go. Well, well, the replay doesn't show that, so. And we're going well, to have to take a look at that we were going three restart wide, on the we replay. We can't take your word for anything. If the seven saw what he saw, then I'm going to go with what he said since he wasn't the one that started it. The replay is not uh -oh. a liar. <laughs> we got old restart rules. Look at that Sega car. How's that for a throwback scheme? That I'm looks gonna go cool. With the seven car. <laughs> Well, of course you are. Just heads up, the 23 smashed a bit. He doesn't want to be up here. <laughs> hey, here's a clue. If you're going to go in the corner super slow, people are going to pass you. It's, it's true. You should be going faster. You faster up here pushing up the track, not fucking turning it down. That felt a good tuck, too, bud. You're ready to go. I know. Did you happen to see what was in front of me? Well, Frank, of course thing. not. You just Frank, saw me go over the 10. Are you right? ready? Ready? Green, 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 green. Looks like Guess might have missed a shift. Sorry for that step. Think Eddie's going to check that. Yeah, I'm definitely down power. Oh, there's. Oh, my God. Watch out. Watch out. Sorry, just one, one. I'm sorry, man. That was a douche move, dude. Angry dude, drivers? We got a well. few. I was trying to get out of your way. I was trying to get off the track. And we had a Canadian standoff. He was, he was talking to your engine. We got a pretty good restart that time, just didn't have anywhere to go with the run that I got. Everyone got checked up. Like I'm really punishing the right front, but we don't have many laps, so there won't be a ton gained by taking care of it too much. This few laps to go, just use up everything that the car's got. 
Five, what was that, Thank you dude? for that follow. Much appreciated. Welcome to the family. It's called loose. Three cars right on guest's bumper there. Oh my God, Chris, I just watched that from your cockpit. There is no way in hell that you can say that I adored him. You sit there and watch him come up. Your number on the side of the door calls us off. <laughs> yeah, of course it does. They're crashing all week long in this class. The hell there is. There is when you're in the room, that's all. Speed-wise, I was doing 151. The car under me was doing 151. Right, was goodness. doing 158. You were doing 156. What do you expect us to do, man? Greg, I'll check the replay after the race, but just all I know is I was holding my line and I was definitely not coming up. So, I, what I saw. If you think the replay that I came up on you, I'll check it later and we'll see what happens. But I definitely did not come up into you. These guys are providing an interesting soundtrack for this four-way battle I, up I front. I don't know Ken. I don't know him from Joe Boy. I don't mind what I saw in front of Of course, Seven. You don't outside. know 22 from Joe Blow. Let's go this time by. Go outside. But, you know, if you're in a lot of yellow, you're around, huh? Still out there, man. Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of yellows because there was a guy in here named Thomas Dale. Still outside. All clear. When you get out, That's third. Him up, check out his incident account. Outside. Clear. Good job. Good job, Amp. Good job. Solid. in there see if we can get second Gomez is going to be a hard pass we're going to have seven to go this next time by I think that damage is affecting the nine a little bit. Just seems to be a little bit off of where the rest of us are running. Guests out there in that clean air just driving away right now. Inching away a little bit each time. Thanks for that sub, Cutie Bear QT. Much appreciated. Yeah, I haven't been on much lately. Didn't been dealing with back issues, but it's healthy enough where I can race a little bit again, so that's good. Only five to go. Get up on top of that hill. Get a good run. Keep it up, my man. Five to go. Woo! And these things are fun to drive. to go. Ah, 
Ah, I got too low. Clipped the apron a little bit. That made the car tight coming off the corner. What was that, one? Got loose, dude. Nine's right back to my bumper again. So then Three to go. In front of somebody across the uh, back stretch. Yeah, I don't really know what there is a question there. Two to go. Two to go. That's a good one and two. Go oh my top. goodness. White flag. Last lap. There we go. That's that's third place. That ain't bad at all. Oh. Appreciate that, Penguin. Check your flag. Prayers can't hurt, but what's been healing my back is rigorous physical therapy. Yeah, <laughs> Good job again. And that's win there, guest man. Well done. Nice being my No, no biggie one. You're going to win anyway. Good race. Good race. Yeah, I'll take a top three. That felt pretty good. Yeah, good race. Uh, that's Cap, Zach. K-A-P-P-S, Caps. My goodness. Go, I'll take go, that. Go, 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 Zero go. X, clean Zero race. Let's Top three. That replay, huh? Right? We're going to be doing a full analysis here. All right, so that was the first restart here. Yeah, especially watching from Chris Cockpit. Where he was actually trying to put it under you, Bryce. Where's the 22? Okay, let's see. Let's go to the chopper. I find that that's pretty good. So this is the 22 car. It's actually number yeah, 11. Like I was riding Custom the number. And he was right behind me. And Got came bumped down by the 10. The 10 comes up into him. And came down and hit me. Yeah, that was all right. So let's watch this. Let's see. So the 11's yeah, way back on the restart. 17 jumps up because to the high side. Exactly 11 looks like he's a little bit you slow. Want me to say. I'm literally looking at it. My two tires are slow. Goes into the corner slow. I get underneath you. A little, little bit of a neck oh, now my right side tires on it, which means I went And then he comes down into the door of the 10. contact because you went from, let's see, about, did you, it pinches yeah. off the upper seam. 22 is kind of a roadblock there. The upper scene to now you're one foot from the lower seam. I think you came down. What do you guys think? I went higher to give you and the 16 room. The 16 that almost lost it on the bottom. So I went higher, and then you stuck it in there. You forced the issue. 
the 16 did not lose it. He was staying, let's say, one foot off of the line. I backed off. I'm looking at my throttle input. I backed off because you jumped off the brake because you were within seven car lengths of the guy in front of you because that's scary. And then I went underneath you. 16 still in front of me by a good three feet. Yep. And then the seven's catching up. So let's watch we this all had to back off here. You. And then you the came down already here. with damage from whatever, and then you just doored me. Oh, I already had damage? Is that what you just said? There's damage on your left front on the replay. I don't know if yeah. it's a net code or if it was from something else, but you have left front damage there right to the left of your grill. Yeah, the, 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 this guy right here, the, the, it's the 11 car in the paint I'm scheme, but it's the... the I didn't think so. It just it felt weird, and I, was, I wasn't worried about it because I saved it and I kept going, but he was lying about it. But there's a reason why he's number 22 in the line. Yeah, you can see that the 10's just holding his line. They're not three. First That's off, they're not three wide. The, the, I think that the 22 car is just yeah, uh, a bit out of his so element in this so field yeah. is mainly what it is. He's he's getting moves made on him that yeah, are perfectly fine racing moves. He just buddy. doesn't expect them. Well, I would like to, but I can't because of people like you. 22, the, the 10 did nothing wrong there, man. I've, I've taken a few looks at it on my stream. Uh, 10, like, you opened the door for him when you jumped off and went high, and then you came back down into his lane. Like, it's racing. People are going to make take the take advantage when you slow up and open up the door. It's just something that... You know, we all learn as we're working our way up through the ranks. And I can deal with that. I can deal with that. The whole problem was I had to let out to let them get by because they were forcing the issue to start with. They're going to force the issue. It's racing, man. Like it, it, any of these guys, we're all competing, man. You open the door even a little bit, some that that it, it only gets harder as you climb out with the I rating ranks, man. People are going to give you less and less and less space. You just got to learn to judge where your car, where other cars are, and learn how to race around people. That it, that's just part of it. What John said. I mean, when you get up in the I rating ranks, people get crazy, crazy aggressive. Yeah, I mean, it, like, it, watch, watch some of the laps of what we were doing up top four, top five. Like, <laughs> people are not giving each other – people are giving each other even less room than you guys were in this corner here. I haven't always been 1.1. I know that, but I, I have been 1.1. I do remember what it was like to be down there. I remember being caught by surprise and, and you know – feeling like I was being taken advantage of and stuff. And, you know, I just, you, you gotta, you gotta shift that mindset and recognize that the guys with, you know, substantially higher I ratings than you that are pushing the issue more are doing so because they've got more car control. What it, If you're going to want to actually compete with those guys and beat them, you got to learn to have that same level of comfort racing real close with folks. There's no hard feelings, man. It's like no one thinks that you did anything like horribly wrong. It's just you, the bottom line is that the 10's holding his line, the 16's holding his line. You went up high, and then you came back down into the 10's door, and that was what caused the wreck. All right. Yeah, again, like, so this is what I'm talking about here is that this is a little weird right here. Like he's got a, he's actually got a comfortable line that he could hold. The 16 comes up a little bit. So he jumps out of the throttle. You don't got to feel bad though. It's all right. You know, we all, I've, I've, I've done way, way worse many, many times. Same. <laughs> I, I've, I've had way worse wrecks and felt completely foolish live in front of like a hundred people. So, you know, it's racing, man. It happens. Um, yeah, but do you get called out because of your number? Absolutely. If my number is, is if I'm the number 30 car and I cause a wreck and get a bunch of single digit cars, they will absolutely call out my number every single time. I've had the whole damn field telling me to quit before. 
Um, but yeah, so you know, right there, that little bobble. Split. He goes up. Otherwise, the ten's I there. Been at the top of split, which I don't like either. He comes down into. I rode around the back of the track the entire race. Then that caution came out. I don't know how in the hell I got in front of everybody. Uh, I mean, the pit stops are weird in these cars, and some folks may have been fixing damage, like. If you so one bit if you really feel uncomfortable restarting in that position and you 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 just would prefer to be in the back you can just roll down pit lane the second time through and fall to the back and just ride there if if you would prefer to do that um the best piece if you're looking at still looking at the replay the best piece of advice I can give you from the situation you were in is that when the 10 you know, when you make the decision to go up into that third lane to the outside, when you get out of the throttle, at that point, you're kind of committed to that high line. Just kind of like focus on being up by that wall. And if you're letting folks by, just really let them by. Where it, where it got bad was when you came back down and the 10 was already inside of you. All right. I appreciate the advice. Yeah, man. Um, if you want, like, th this video will be up on YouTube in a couple days. I'm still looking at it, actually, a little bit here, but, um, you know, wa watch the videos and stuff. Uh, we all got, like I said, we all started at the same spot, um, and, you know, it just takes time and practice to get better. None of us started driving like a 4KI rating driver. And I still don't and to add to that. It's a long road. You're going to make a whole lot of mistakes before you get there. Oh, yeah. I've been on the service for, what, four or five years now? Um, so, yeah, I think we've... Uh... All right, guys. See you next race. Yeah, good race, guys. That was a lot of fun racing with y'all. Have a good one. See you in the next one. Um, yeah. let's get a, uh, That's screenshot right. here. Thanks for the advice. <sighs> All right. Um, I like to get him with the... It'd actually be really good to get one with uh, Guest's car in there when he was going by me. Where was that lap? 12, lap 11. That's a pretty good one. Coming off turn four at Atlanta with Guest on the outside. That looks good. Right there. So. Capture that. That'll be it. Let's go uh, take a look at the results. <laughs> Gotta learn! Like, that's the thing. We all, we, you don't get better if you don't learn. Appreciate the biddies, Rachel. Thank you much. Uh, let's see. So yeah, guest wins. We uh, 
We got third, though. I'll take that. 25 ironing game. I like that. Up, back up over 4,200. Um, also gained 0.14 safety. So we're getting closer there. What time is it? 5.39. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate y'all. If you like the video, please do click that like button. Hit subscribe. Head over to twitch.tv slash john underscore underscore theodore. Click that little heart to give me a follow. Thank you very much. Peace out.